Machine Works. My name is Keith. Today we're continuing on our rotating assembly for the uh, TV elevator or the big screen elevator that we're building and we have our billet here roughed out OD and ID and we're set up now with a boring bar and we're going to come in and we're going to bore it for the bearing diameter and the depth so that the, fate, the butt end of the race will register against it and we're going to part it off. These two rings we're going to make to receive these these two races are going to be then added to a plate that's going to adapt them to the framework of the carriage. So let's get started. So we're going to take another 25 there. We should be uh, about nine away. So this should be like the second to last cut here for us. And then that's set. Four ninety four. We got like six thousand left to go on there for finished size. Now, whenever you're using inside micrometers, you always want to double check them with your outside micrometers. And the whole thing is that you know, of course, it's been years since my tools have been calibrated, uh, but I'm. Um, using them in relationship to each other or as a found and I do have standards to go ahead and go in and set and I'm reading right on 94 as well now our bearing here on the outside this is like 502 I have a one and a half. See what we got now. Yeah, we probably took, should have taken a spring cut there. I got 505. Second. 
going to be too loose. Okay, that's a miss. We're going to be cutting this off. I'm going to go in. I'm going to grab the next. we got enough bore that's going to give us two bearings. So we're going to face this off. And uh, we're going to have to come in closer. We know that that, uh, that took our cut plus a spring cut. We should have taken a spring cut, remeasured it. We probably would have been right, right on the money. Okay, we've cut that off and we've reboard another one. We're, we're uh, almost out to the same area there. We're at uh, 940, 939 and a half, 940. Uh, so we're two cuts away here. RPMs and we kept the same feed rate there you can see it we're cutting a little bit easier a little glossy but here's where we made the mistake here of uh, our last cut and that was taking the amount instead of taking a spring cut so let's see what we got here and we're at like 91 Last time we were at like 94 and we took the 6 hoping to be like 501 we ended up being 505 and uh, again uh, 92 there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a spring cut here just to make sure that we're not going to be taking any excess material off of here and uh, we'll see what the difference is. We went, we went in increments of 50 thousandths at a pass. The last one was 25 thousandths uh, for the per side for the pass. Now we're going to take a spring cut to see how much tool pressure uh, the difference is. And that's that's what uh, we want to emphasize is that sometimes there's an additional amount of tool pressure on the tool bit itself, especially when you're into inserts. you got to learn a lot of tool pressure on inserts. You know, positive high speed tool bit stuff like that, lots of times it, it uh, creates a lot less tool pressure but you have slower speeds and things like that. on the money by that measurement there let's check it with our yeah five inch on the money and of course our race we mic that out to be one and a half to two over and uh, but we don't want a real hard put press on this we don't need a real hard press on this um, oh, let's. Uh, we're going to take a secondary spring cut. See if uh, we can get any more off of here. We saw a drag on the way back, but that's kind of the, the characteristic of the carriage coming in the back direction. <laughs>
to see if we did take anything at all. It would be nice if we had somewhere around five, one and a half, something like that. About a half thousandth press would be cool. I got one, one and a quarter. I'm reading five, one and a half. All right, we're going to be satisfied with this right here. This is, uh, yeah, that's I, that's going to be that's going to be doable. Um, we're going to go ahead and clean it up. We're going to chamfer a little bit. We're going to part this one off, and we'll get started on the next one. Okay, we're giving. Uh, we're just kind of planning out what we got here for the last uh, bit of material here, and. We're going to give it about, we got a depth here of three quarter inch and we're going to give it an eighth of an inch uh, bottom to it. turn around backwards on the jaws and we're going to kiss off uh, the two chamfers and we're going to give it a clean face across the bottom of it here. Yeah. 